Hey, Two Cows Gaming fans and family, how y'all doing? Um, you know, if you're like me, you're probably feeling pretty betrayed, pretty lost, definitely numb. And, uh, you know, that's okay. You know, I got you. I, uh, I think I have some ideas that might be able to help you out and, uh, you know, help you get through this. Uh, but first, and I've never, and I don't do this very often on my videos, but I've included some chapter markers so you can skip the next part if you'd like, um, because this isn't really directed at you. Um, these are two other people that need to be addressed. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, so it's time to get down to brass tacks. Um, I've thought very hard about this over the last couple of days, and you know what? Uh, I'm going to say some things here that you are not going to like, and you are not going to be happy with, but they need to be said regardless. So here it comes. If you are a Trump supporter or a Democrat that just couldn't bear to pull the lever for Kamala Harris and Tim Walls, or if you're a Republican that just stood by because you're too afraid to stand up to the mighty Trump chain, train, uh, there's nothing here for you. This channel's not for you anymore. Uh, do whatever you have to do. Unsubscribe, block me, whatever you need to do. But there's a door, hit it. You're not welcome here anymore. Um, you showed your true colors on Tuesday night, loud and clear. You went and voted for the criminal, for the adjudicated rapist, for the con man, for the liar. This is not your channel. This isn't a, this isn't a disagreement about policy. This is a difference in morality. And what you did on Tuesday night showed how you just do not care about the others in your lives. You know, the, the people that are marginalized on a daily basis, the people that are bullied, the people that are taken advantage of, the people who are downtrodden. You have become the bully, either in action directly or by proxy. By voting for this person. So as far as I'm concerned, this channel is not for you. This is an inclusive channel for people that need love, who need support, and who need somebody to stand up for them. So there's the door. Don't let it hit you in the ass on the way out. All right, so back to you, my, my family and friends of uh, Two Cows Gaming. Um, first of all, uh, whatever you're feeling, whatever you're going through right now, it matters. It really does. Um, the pain and the loss that you feel right now of identity, of support, of love, that's real. That's authentic. And it's not your fault. It's not your fault. The reality is, is we took a hell of a cheap shot on Tuesday night. And right now... We are on the mat looking up at the ceiling. And we're wondering what the fuck happened. Where the fuck are we going to go from here? What are we going to do? And the truth is, it's okay to cry. It's okay to scream. It's okay to feel your anger and your disappointment. Your rage is justified. And all I can tell you is use it. Use it. It's your greatest strength right now. So what are we going to do? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get off the mat. I'm going to get up. I'm going to put my mouthpiece back in. And I'm going to keep moving forward. You know, it's okay. You know, I'm going to share a little story with you. I, I interviewed a DJ a few years ago well, several years ago now, uh, about the American dream. And he was talking about his son. 
and angels told me something that I've carried to me, carried with me to this day. And he said this, it's okay to cry. It's okay to be upset. But when all the tears are done, when all the upset is over, that problem is still going to be there. So what are you going to do about it? The pain is still going to be there. It's supposed to be. You know, after what happened on Tuesday night, the pain is supposed to be there. But what we got to do now is we got to get up off the mat. We got to get back into the fight. We got to wake up. And we got to keep moving forward. So how am I going to do that? It's real simple for me now. I'm going to protect me and mine. My family, my friends, the people that I've come to love all through my life, all the wonderful freaks and weirdos that I've come across in my past. You guys are the most important thing to me right now, and I love you all, and I'm going to do everything I can to be there for you. Um, I'm putting all racists and enablers on blast. You know, I'm going to call them out. That's what we do. We call out the bully. You tell them that this isn't okay. You tell them that this is enough. That's what I'm going to do. So moving forward on this channel, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Anytime a bully shows up, they're gone. We don't need that here. Um, it's my channel for as long as I can keep it. And for all of you marginalized folks, the freaks and the weirdos that I love, the people that make this channel great, this will always be a safe space for you. And I will always, always treat you with the utmost decency and respect. I'm going to call out racism every single chance I get. It doesn't matter who it is at this point moving forward. I don't care. The people in my life who are okay with that, you know who you are. You know you're wrong. And you were raised better than that. You should do better. Do better for yourselves. Do better for your kids. Do better for your communities. They deserve better than that. All this over a few pennies on eggs, maybe a dollar on gas. Meanwhile, the people upstairs, the people who are running the show, they're just going to get richer. They're just going to make life miserable for the rest of us. And guess what? This is your lesson to learn. We learned it. We learned it eight years ago when this dumbass was elected the first time. And we knew going into this that he is not the answer. But now it's time for you guys to learn the lesson too. And it's going to be painful. And you know what? That's just the way it has to be now. I'm going to speak up. I'm going to shout if I have to. But I'm never going to go quietly. Not anymore. Nope. I'm never going to go quietly. I'm going to be an ally in action. I'm going to be an ally in deed. In spirit. And I'm going to give the people that I need to give, uh, that need the support, they're going to get it. Even if it's just a hug or a, hey, it's okay, I got you. You got my support. And in turn, for myself, I'm going to be creative. I'm going to throw myself into my creative endeavors, my filmmaking my game reviews, my commentaries, my podcasts. I'm going to share my pain and my thoughts with all of you so that you know you are not alone, that at least I'm going through it with you. Um, I'm not putting up with it anymore, and neither should you. Now, the other thing I need to address here is safety. I'm doing what I have to do to protect my family, protect my friends, protect the people I care about. Um, you need to decide what you have to do for you and yours. It may be leaving the country. It may be moving to a blue bastion. You know, move to a blue, a blue state or a blue city where you're going to be safe. There's going to be some pain, unfortunately. This is the, this is the path that lies ahead of us. And that's okay to run away. 
it's okay to withdraw. It's okay to acknowledge you can't make a stand right now. But when you come back, come back stronger. Because that's what we need right now is we need strength. We need to band together and we need to support one another. And we need to get through this. And the last thing I want to touch on is hope. Please do not lose sight of hope. There's a basketball coach. He's pretty famous. His name is Jim, Jimmy Valvano. And I just want to share this one quote with you because it's very true and it's never been more true. Never give up. Don't ever give up. Because that's the only way that they really win is if you give up. We'll find a way forward. We don't have a choice. Forward is the only way we can go right now. And it's the only path that we have. What has gone before can't be changed. For whatever reason, about 15 million Democrats stayed home. Didn't vote. They couldn't pull the lever for Kamala Harris. The Republican Party who talks about how they they are for everybody, stayed home, or they pulled the lever for the dictator-in-chief. I don't know about you, but that breaks my heart. That breaks my heart. Because our country is supposed to be better than that. We're supposed to stop dictators. We're supposed to punch them in the mouth. We're supposed to send them packing. We're not supposed to let them get a foothold on the greatest country in the United States or in the world. Now I've, I've misspoken a couple of times. I've stumbled over my words, but you have to understand I'm feeling some real emotion right here and it's barely contained. And for that, I'm sorry. But the bottom line is I'm here for you. I got you. And things are going to change. You're going to see it loud and clear. Be safe. Be kind. Remember, no matter who you are, no matter where you are, you are loved and you do matter. No matter what is going on in our country right now, you do matter. Don't let them dictate to you that you don't matter. That's all I got for you tonight, Beats. Be safe. Take care of one another. Hug each other. And know we got to go through this one way or the other. And it's going to suck. But in the end, if we stick together, we're going to come through on the other side. Believe that. If you don't believe anything else, believe that. The sun's going to rise tomorrow whether we want it to or not. It's our decision to greet it with a smile or with a grimace. Take it easy, everybody.